Hello everyone. So today I got a welding project I'm wanting to start on. We're going to start working on turning this pile of metal into a 20 foot level. So the plan is to make two um, 10 foot levels. So like a 10 foot level here and 10 foot level here. And we'll just hook them together by like a chain or something in the middle. And that way they can kind of pivot and roll a bit better than just one solid 20 foot level. Here's kind of a rough drawing of what I'm planning on doing. So I'm going to make two 10 foot levels that will hook together by a chain back here and that will use chain here and chain here and a yoke up here and then we'll use another chain up here to hook to a tractor so that's how we'll drag these and then I'm gonna have you know crossbar here crossbar here and a crossbar here in the middle that'll do the leveling and I'm thinking about doing some angle braces like so on each level and doing something like this on the back side. So that's kind of roughly what they're going to look like. So I don't need these pieces of angle iron quite yet. So I'm just gonna move these off to the side and lay them on these stickers here. And we'll start working with this channel iron here first. So what we're working with today is some two inch angle iron and some six inch channel. So all of our pieces are just over 20 feet long. I'm just going to cut out the metal for the first 10 foot level first and then I'll see how it looks and then if I like the way things are looking I'll cut out the metal for the second level. So the first step I got to do is I just drew out my line where I wanted my angle so then I'm going to use my plasma cutter and I'm going to cut right along this line then I'm going to cut right along here so I'm going to leave this this piece here and I'm going to cut out all this stuff right there. And once I get that cut out, I'm gonna use a torch and heat up. So about right here, we'll heat that up and we'll use a hammer and hopefully bend this piece up to there and weld that in place. And that'll give us a nice little like running skid, I guess you could call it. What do you think, oh. Don? <laughs> <laughs> Should turn out good. Yeah. Don came over here to supervise. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're using the Hypertherm Power Max 45 plasma cutter. That's what we're going to use to make all our cuts with. do the exact same thing for the opposite side. So it's been a few days since I've been able to work on these levelers. But this is as far as me and Don got the other day. So we got all of our side pieces done. So we cut our cut our angles out and bent those pieces of metal up to get a nice like running skid. And we tacked up our first piece here. And I used a big level or a big square to square these up. Then I just used these little magnetic squares here. To try to hold it in place for a minute while I put the rest of it together. So this next part's gonna be a little bit tedious because what I'm doing is I'm having to cut out these cross pieces so they fit inside of here. Doing the same thing on that side. 
And the reason I'm doing that, instead of just leaving them flat and welding them to this side and just putting this on the inside, is because we were worried that we'd have the channel on the outside, it'd just dig down into the dirt when you turn with the levelers. So we're putting the channel on the inside. Another reason is the two halves of the levelers are gonna rub together right here. And we just figured if these two pieces with the channel were rubbing together, one right up on one or the other. So at least this way, we've got a flat flat spot where the two halves can rub, rub together and not right up on each other. So I've got to notch out two more cross pieces, one for there in the middle and one here in the back. So I'm gonna finish doing that. I'm gonna use this here and notch out these edges here. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I need to notch out about an inch and five eighths off this top piece here. It's an inch, five eighths. Then we're gonna cut this out with the plasma cutter. And we'll have to do the same thing on the bottom side here. And then if we cut it out right, this piece should be able to slide right into this sample piece here. So there you have it. Then this piece represents the, the sides there and this should slide in just like that. I'll be able to weld on the inside there and fill up these little gaps I got. So we've got three more joints to do like this and then we can start putting the rest of this together and get to welding. Something else I'm gonna do to beefing up this leveler a little bit is use these pieces here. They're just scrap pieces from when I cut out this angle there on the on the runner. I'm just gonna use this and stick it in there like that. Just give me that much more to weld to and just beefing up these cross pieces. So that's what my joints are gonna look like. So I welded, you know, below that plate there. So I welded going uphill, well it uphill on this back side here, well it across the top, and I put in my brace here, my, my gusset, so I'm gonna weld along the tops there and weld that in place. Hopefully it'll be plenty sturdy. Hopefully I won't ever have to weld on this again after we're done. So I've got my two front joints welded on. And what I need to do now is I need to cut some of that angle iron for this brace that I'm gonna put in here. Like I said, I got that angle iron over here and that stack of metal. So I'm just gonna cut, I think it's gonna be about 68 inches long, is what I measured to. And I'll put one end on that, about right where that tape measure is. So I've come out four feet from that side. I'm gonna weld one end on there, and weld the other end on here, and that'll give us a nice little brace there to help support the middle of that, that cross piece, because that's what's gonna collect all the dirt and have all the weight pushing against it. So I'm gonna brace that there, and I'll do the same thing on this side. I got my four foot mark there and I'll come down to there with that and I'll just do the same thing on each joint behind we'll go back there do one there and with this one I'll probably just have to go this way with it oh another thing I did on this very last cross piece is I tilted it just a bit so that way hopefully it'll just kind of run smooth on top of that and just give us give us a really nice finish on our hay ground. So we still got plenty of welding and plenty of cutting to do still. And I still have to figure out how I'm gonna hook the chains up to this to be able to pull it with.
We got this half all welded up. Got my cross pieces in. All my gussets are welded up. Gussets here, gussets there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a little, little length of chain. I'm gonna weld some chain on the back here and leave a tail. And then that way we can chain this half to the other half so that when you're using it, they're not spreading apart in the back. So we'll weld some chain on this side and probably weld some on the other one too when we get that one built. And we'll, we'll just use, a, I don't know, some kind of carabine or something to link those two chains together. And like I said, that'll keep them from spreading apart on the back side there. And once we get that done and figure out how we're gonna hook our chains up to the front here, I'm thinking about using sucker rod and heating it up and bending that sucker rod around and welding the sucker rod in place up here somewhere. Then we can loop our chain through that sucker rod and hook it onto our pipe that we're gonna pull the whole thing with. So let's cut us some sucker rod and see how it bends. I've never bent sucker rod before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work or not. So I changed my mind a little bit on how I'm gonna do these eyelets. I'm gonna cut these angles now and then I'll bend it and I'll probably just be able to weld it. I think that'll work. <laughs> close to 90 see how it fits why yeah I think that'll work pretty good I'll just weld it on right there She is, guys. Got my eyelets welded on. Seems like they welded up pretty nice. Then I got my chain on back here. So I said I welded this chain on here. So just imagine another half a leveler being on this side, and we'll just chain the two together with this just to keep them from going, like I said, spreading too far apart. So I'm gonna drag this one out and we'll start on the second half. So just imagine we're just gonna make another half, just a mirror image of this one. That'll give us our full 20 foot for the levelers. So after I get that second half built, all I gotta do is figure out some kind of bar in the front. So imagine there's gonna be a bar in the front here and that's what the leveler will chain on to. Same with the one that's gonna be over here. we will chain onto that bar and we'll hook that bar up to a tractor and we'll sit up here. So if you can see picture that. So I'll get this other half built and I'll show you guys how I build that bar. I'm still, I'm still not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it. So it's gonna be a work in progress. Hey, Put down a little bit of hail. Decent sized ones too. That's a pretty decent sized hail for around here. So we got the second leveler built. Like I said, this is just a mirror image of the first one. I just finished welding on my hooks here. And I got my chain welded on here on the back. So what I need to do now is build my yoke. So what I'm thinking about using is this piece of two and seven eighths inch drill pipe. So we'll, we'll weld a hook here and a hook on the front and then do the same thing on this side so then the one side will hook back to the levelers and the front side here will hook up to the tractor like that so i need to finish bending four more sucker rods for my hooks and that'll about do it and i'll maybe polish off a couple spots there on that drill pipe just so i have something nice to weld to
I ran that wire wheel across this area here where I want to put my, my hooks at just so I can get a really good weld because this is where all the weight's going to be, you know, from pulling them levelers. It's going to be on these four hooks on this yoke here. And I'll put the center of my hook right at seven and a half inches on this end and the same thing on that end. So coming off seven and a half inches right here. Then I'm just using one of my saddle patterns to get my line all the way around this pipe. So then we're gonna weld one of our hooks right here on this side and we'll weld the other one on the other side like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other end. Just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So just imagine we got a chain running up to this hook and back like that. And we'll have our other leveler on this side. And the same thing, we'll have a, a chain running to each of those hooks. And then out here in front, we'll have a chain running from this hook and this hook. And they'll come out here like this. And this will be where the hitch is for the tractor. So that's how we're going to hook it to the tractors with this chain here. So that's all we got it left to do is just pack this out in the field. And get the tractor out there just figure out how long we want to make these chains before we cut them and so that's our next step so we'll see you guys out in the field well there she is guys got her all hooked up she like it's been working pretty good i just finished leveling this Field here behind me and I, I was pretty happy with how it was working so this is what I was talking about with my yoke we might end up shortening a few of these chains or lengthening this front one we weren't sure how long to make them or how short to make them and we're just trying it out for now and it's the only thing I can see that we need to change for too long is this change in the length of our chains but for the most part we're happy with it so if you guys have any interest in checking out any of these tools I used like these magnetic squares or these magnetic patterns for saddling pipe. I'll put those down in the description for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Have a good day.